I'm Wally. And I'm Dave. And here we're on another episode in our PVC series, kind of transferred here a little bit to some detail mm -hmm. work. Yes. What we talked about in our other episodes about no primers or tapes with PVC for Correct. much detail. So what do we have here, Dave? We have our... We have a weldable metal edge. Coated metal. Coated metal with a wind clip. Wind clip? Yep. And what is the important thing on this detail? Well, the important thing in detail is a bond breaker that you put the, the metal about a quarter of an inch apart, take duct tape. Or foil face tape. Foil face tape down over the joint so you don't weld over the joint. What you're making is really a mini expansion joint. And that's something that really should be clarified. You cannot overlap nope. TPR or PVC coated metal and pin it because what'll happen if I'm a contractor, if I overlap this and I didn't do this detail correctly and I pinned it to the roof, what's going to happen every 10 or eight, whatever long your metal is? It's going to rupture. It's, it's going to split. Yep. And that's a very, very expensive fix. It is. And make sure that you do this first before... We're under stripping. Yeah. If you can see here, we've kind of did a little cutaway. So here's my metal joint. This is the duct tape or foil face tape. You wrap that over the joint onto the flat. Don't stop it here. Wrap it onto the flat. Then you take a piece of uh, detail membrane or unsupported material, mm -hmm. weld down the face up onto the flat, and then we strip it in. Correct. And that what that does now, now it doesn't allow you to weld solid to that. Right. Yeah. Hence a bond breaker. So we also have our flow-through scupper. Yes. This is one we made our own. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Would you recommend a guy go to do this, try to do this on a job site? No, I would not. Yeah. Quite honestly, this is our most punched item because when the inspector gets up, what's he going to do first? He's going to reach inside and probe the corners. And if you got your 10 stories up in the air hanging on the edge and the smaller they are, the harder, the harder they, they are. are. So right. we highly recommend if you're going to do this, get your coated metal, get it bent up, whatever size scupper you need. Do this on a bench in your in your shop, mm -hmm. um, and you can actually maneuver, manipulate it however you want to work on it. You're right. The smaller it is, you you can't always stick your, right. your gun in through the back. So once you do that, it's pretty simple. Bring it to the job site, flop this down, pin it to the wall, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And then you do corners. There's a lot of different ways to do corners. So actually, what I did, I took a universal corner and I cut it down, and actually used that. And I took a fluted corner, mm -hmm. and I used it on this side to actually cut it down a little bit. Or you can actually take a piece of unreinforced membrane and, and make your own. So in closing, I guess, Dave, the devil is in the details. Yes, it is. Make sure much. they're done correctly. It's going to save you a lot of headaches on the other end. And what do you always like tell contractors? What do we hand out at all our trainings? What a little detail book? Mm -hmm. Or go on GF's mm -hmm. website. We have all these details on our website, how these are done correct. It'll save you a lot of headaches at the other end of, this, of the project. Absolutely.